Heaven's California Guys, um, I have another suggestion here from Dark Universe. This was about an hour ago. Um, so, can you also do Stranger Stories new video again about from Dark Universe? A suggestion. So, I will do be I'll be, I'll be doing that. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. If you haven't turned on the post no, no, notifications and did not hit the like button yet, be sure to do those as well before the end of the video or at some point at the end of this video. This one is called There's a Psychopath. I'm at work horror story animated again by that YouTuber. I don't even know. I, I, I already forgot. Stranger Things or something? No, not Stranger Things. Stranger something? We, uh, weirder? I don't, I, I don't know. I already forgot, but I just said it. It'll be in the title as well. So, There's a Psychopath. I'm at work. So, this is about 3 minutes 43 seconds. Um, I don't know what to think about this. Like, maybe a psycho coworker or psycho customer, depending on where you work. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Let's go, guys. Stranger Stories, I don't, I don't know what it's called, got it. Written by Zacharias Frost, I'm assuming this is fake then, got it. I knew there was something odd about David when I first saw him. Co-worker? He was a handsome guy, tall, with athletic build. The type of guy who seemed to charm everyone. Yeah, he looks normal, I Everyone seemed to like him. Tall, though, he was tall. kind and witty. And people just seemed to gravitate to him. The charade he put on was convincing, but somehow I saw through it. There was just something about him that set me on edge each and every time I interacted with him. No, Maybe I, it was I, a I, sixth I sense, I those were just but I always got the feeling he was hiding something. Yeah, My suspicion kind of feeling. was strengthened when I randomly caught him arriving to work one day. He closed his trunk as I pulled in and used a water bottle to wash a red liquid from his hands. I greeted him as usual, but that moment I knew for sure he was up to something nefarious. Yeah. Later that week, like... he was alone in the lunchroom and didn't see me come in. I then caught a glimpse of what he was reading on his phone. Effects of Rohypnol. It's not a crime to just look something up, but given the context, it's I found it extremely sense. unnerving. Yeah. That moment substantiated everything I had sensed from him, but rather than notifying the police, I elected for a different option. Well, I mean, what are you going to do, call, call a police car? car? He's looking so up he and wouldn't recognize me, and followed him when he clocked out on Friday. Are you following him now? He returned to his apartment and didn't leave for the rest of the night. I staked out in the parking lot for the entire night. The following day, he finally emerged and went to his car, carrying a large duffel bag with him. Duffel bag. I tailed him for the rest of the day as he made several stops at local hardware and convenience stores. So you were up all night watching him and I were watching Later him that night. Bag. I followed him to a local bar and posted up outside as he went in. He returned two hours later with a friend. And she doesn't know It was a young woman. And from her stumbling footsteps, it was clear face. she wasn't in the right state of mind. Yeah, exactly. My heart began thundering in my chest. Here it is. And I stepped out of the car just as he put the young woman in his back seat. He did not see me sneaking up. And before oh, he could turn back, I slammed my bat into the back of his head. He fell to the ground, conscious but dazed beyond belief. After taking a brief look around, I dragged him to the trunk and forced him in. The fuck? He looked up, seeming to recognize me. I smiled and spoke. What are the odds, huh? Two psychopaths in the same place at once. His eyes sprung open as I wrapped him in duct tape and closed the trunk. What? His lady friend was out cold in the back seat. I got in the driver's seat and fired it up as my smile grew even wider. A two for one must be my lucky day. Yo, what? Oh, this is like the oh, an, an animation thing. Yo, like, I, I can't use animation. Like, I'm really bad at that. Like, I would not be able to animate. Like, I would not. Like, I tried, uh, kind of, but it didn't work out that well. So it turns out that he's a psychopath as well. Because I, at first, I'm like, why are you knocking him in the head? Like, 
So I, I think that, yeah, two for one. So it's kind of like he has both of them. So it's like, what the hell is he going to do with the guy, though? Like, what are they going to do? Have sex with her? They're like, what? Like, that's what I'm assuming. It's like, what else would what they do? She, she's out cold. He's out, or he's unconscious, but tied up and stuff. Like, what are you going to do with him? That's why I was kind of thinking, if you're the good, the good, good, good guy, the cops are going to question you for whacking them in the head. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was going to say just follow them or something and then call the police or something, but I don't know. So, I don't know, it turns out you were a psychopath too. That's kind of scary, like, damn. See, you never know who anybody is. Like, it turns out there was a psychopath and you were one too. So, that's kind of cr cr creepy. This is obviously fake, otherwise you wouldn't, like, report yourself. So, obviously, that's fake, but very interesting story. Very, like, you know, good, like, you know, thing to, yeah. But, wow, definitely a good video. Just, that was a nice twist, because I did not see that coming at all. So, that's really good. But, if you have any other suggestions, of course, let me know. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe and be sure to turn on post notifications as well. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Well, later today because I'm, I'm going to upload this tomorrow. Okay, okay bye, guys. <laughs>